One of the features within your structure tab is the ability to be able to add a plate or grating into your 3D model. If you'll notice in the parts panel of the structure tab, you will see this tool that says plate. And that's actually where you're going to have to go for actually laying the plating and doing the settings as well. Because if you notice in the settings, there are no particular settings for plate material. Another thing that's worth pointing out is that if you're going to be doing any type of grading here, the grading hatch will not show up in any other model except the shape model. So if you choose any one of these for your model and you're noticing that your hatch is not showing up, that's the reason. You need to switch the shape model if you want to be able to see that hatch. So let's go ahead and take a look at what happens when you go ahead and click that on the dialog box. This is where you can choose from the plating or the grate. Uh, you have material standards that you can choose from. You can also choose from various material codes, including a concrete top. Uh, you can give the thickness of your plate or uh, grating that you're going to do. And then you can also pick your justification. Are you going to locate this from the top, middle, or bottom? And of course, the shape is going to be how you're actually going to draw this in there. So before we draw this in here, I'm going to go ahead and isolate the areas that we want to be able to uh, draw upon because I want to be able to grab those actually fairly easily. And I'll go ahead and uh, isolate that. We'll go to our isolate menu and choose isolate objects. And that's going to bring us just down to this part right here. Okay, so what we can do is the simplest way to do this is just to draw a rectangle shape. So let's go ahead and kind of zoom right there. And uh, we'll hit our plating. We'll stick with a rectangular shape. Uh, the thickness and all of this looks good. I think I'll uh, go with the top justification, though. Just do that. And when we create, all we need to do is grab some snap points. And uh, let's just say we'll grab it there. All you do is pull it across kind of diagonally. It's not going to look like it's doing much, especially if you're looking at it from a, a not a straight on view. It looks like it's not grabbing at all. But um, rest assured it is. And as soon as you click, you'll see that that grading goes into place quite nicely. No worries at all there. And if you need that grading to be a different size, well, then that's whenever you would adjust this hatch scale within your grading. Now let's go ahead and try a little something different with the uh, grading that we, different from what we've just done. Let's go ahead and take this one out. We'll go ahead and select it and just uh, do an erase there. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually change our uh, hatch. We're going to do it to about an eighth of an inch. We'll change this to a top justification. And then we're going to do this with a new polyline. I want to be able to cut it like leave a hole out of it. So before we create this, I want to go ahead into my snap settings and I want to make this just a little bit easier. I want to make sure that my snaps are turned on, but then in here, I want to make sure that the only snaps that I have on are my endpoint and midpoints. And that's going to help me, uh, that's going to help me pick the points that I need. I'll leave perpendicular in there. Actually, I'll go ahead and take that off and we'll just use our ortho mode. Ortho mode can be toggled on and off with F8, and that'll keep us drawing uh, perpendicular. So we'll go ahead and we'll pick an endpoint over here. We'll go down here and we'll pick an endpoint. And we'll get an endpoint here. Now, over here, we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to try to find ourselves the uh, midpoint of this line. And then when we establish the midpoint, we should be able to follow, we should be able to do line tracking across whenever we draw this, and we'll be able to find the midpoint on this side as well. And if we keep our, if we draw it ortho, we should only be able to draw at 90 degree increments. So we also have our midpoint here. So if we go ahead and click on there and 
bring that up just a little bit higher because we want to get back to our original start point and then click on to that end point there. Uh, we're not going to update a spec right now. You'll see that we now have a hole in our uh, grading. And if we take a look at it, you should be able to see that the scale is a little bit different, but you can still see that you have a, a thickness of about an inch and you can see where it's justified as well. Don't forget, you can. I have this on a grading layer, which is controlling the properties, but you could also select that. And if you wanted to overrun those properties and uh, get yourself a different color for that particular piece of grading, then just go ahead and when you go there, instead of by layer, just go ahead and hit the color that you do want on there. And right now we're drawing this in 2D wireframe, but you could also put this in realistic if you need it to look a little bit more like it's going to come out in the end final product. Another option that we can do with our plate or grading is to create it from a polyline itself. So we can use just a regular AutoCAD polyline. So let's go ahead and uh, just take a top shot right here of this. I'll uh, go ahead and switch this back to a perspective view so that we can see this just a little, I'm sorry, parallel view. We are, we're looking at that. And we'll just use that wheel to turn this around just a little bit. Okay, let's zoom in here and let's say we want to lay some grading in a couple of areas here. Well, let's just go ahead and type in P line which will give us the polyline command. And uh, I'm drawing in ortho just for the sake of being able to draw a little bit quicker and not have to worry about angles and degrees so much. And we can also, a rectangle is also a polyline. Okay, so now you do have a couple of polylines here. We can go here. I've changed the hatch scale to about a half inch, and I'm going to go ahead and change the thickness of this to about two inches, and then I'm going to change this to an existing polyline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that. I'm sorry, I'm going to select that polyline there and this one here. Then I'm going to right-click to select, and now you see you have grading in both of those. So that's just another easy way that you can put some structural plate or grading into your drawing.